Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It is fantastic to have you here today. My name is Scroat, and we are taking a look at a new game called Victory at Sea. This is actually part of a new series I want to do, uh, something called a Let's Look. This will give me a chance to play all these different games I have, but not necessarily deep dive into them. Uh, you know, really far doing these huge Let's Play series. This way I can do, you know, one, two, three episodes on a on a given game, and, you know, if people really like it, then I can spin it off into a Let's Play or something else. Uh, but this way, hey, you know, we can at least take a look at a myriad of different games, and this one especially is super fun. Uh, so Victory at Sea, it's by a developer called Evil Twin Artworks, and I think I think this is one of their bigger games they have. They only have like a couple games, and, and they focus a lot on mobile games. But this is definitely one of their cooler ones. Uh, so what this is, this is essentially a, a real-time strategy warfare spanning across the Atlantic, Pacific, and Mediterranean uh, areas. Uh, it's essentially naval warfare on a global scale is what they call it. Um, and there's all sorts of cool stuff you can do in this game. There are an over 80 different classifications of ships, uh, hundreds of different uh, naval ports, and multitude of playing options. You know, they've got the battleships, the destroyers, they got the cargo ships, they got the cruisers, uh, they got just so many different ship types, submarines, uh, just everything you can think of. So we're going to start the campaign. That's what I'm thinking here. We're going to start the campaign, and I want to do the Pacific. I hear the Pacific's probably what you want to start with when it's your first time playing the game. And uh, this game's great. Like you, uh, you eventually get big fleets. You can have all sorts of ships in your fleet, and uh, you can do formations. And there's all sorts of tactical views, and it's just it's really cool. And I've played it on and off, not very long, probably four or five hours, just to get my feet wet a little bit. And it's it's a really enjoyable game. You know, something something a little different than uh, what I've been focusing on on the channel, which is From the Depths. So here we go. Enter your sur surname. Hmm. Do I want to be Scroat? Oh, you know what? Scrotilius. Scrotilius. Let's do it. And uh, you know what? I'm going to play as the U.S. Navy. We're going full on default here. So let's let's pick a captain portrait. Pretty sure I'm not a female. Let's go with, uh, let's see, who doesn't look super, <laughs> super chumpy here? Let's be this guy. Look at it, he looks a little quizzical. <laughs> We're going to go with him. Start the game. Okay, so what I think, this hard and expert, these might be new. I don't remember having like a difficulty selector at the beginning. But I'm going to go with normal because some of this stuff can get pretty tough, even on normal. Congratulations, Commander Scrotilius. I'm promoting you to the rank of captain. Woo! Your first command is the destroyer USS Caperton. Get out there and take the fight to the enemy. Roger that. Captain John L. McRae. Captain Scrotilius, you need to hit the enemy destroyer As Asagiri. Sounds like a Japanese destroyer, doesn't it? Oh, you know what? Let me adjust the volume levels here so we're not getting decimated. In fact, we'll take this down to like 40. And I'll, I may even adjust the volume more once once I pull this, extract the audio uh, channel and, you know, we'll see what we can do. Anyway, airplanes are kind of loud. Okay, so here we are. We're controlling our ship. Let's take a look at what ship we're, we have here. So this is the USS Caperton. Caperton, yeah. It's a Fletcher-class destroyer. Very cool. It's a pretty big ship, actually. It holds a crew of 329. Displacement 2,500 tons with a length of 376 feet. And here's the ornaments on the ship. It's got one secondary turret, two anti-air with a range of five turrets. I don't actually know what range in this game equates to, to be honest. Has an armor of two, HP of three. It's kind of weird to see HP and armor on a ship, isn't it? It's like, hmm, that's weird. It's got, like, health. I, I imagine, like, three little hearts, you know, like, deep in the hold of the ship. Like, you don't want those hearts to get hurt. So it has torpedoes, five port and starboard torpedo launchers. Uh, Anti-submarine, so it's, it can fire six depth charges at once, and it has no aircraft. It does have radar, so this is what we're we're dealing with right here. We can take a look at our captain, Captain Scrotilius of the U.S. Navy. We are a captain. We have one badge, and that's it. So, with that being said, we have a a mission here. We got we need to destroy, and this is part of the tutorial. We have to destroy this this Asagiri, apparently. So you, you do have a few... Uh, please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. You do have a few options here. You can set your ship speed, you know, if you want to slow down, speed up. You can set the game speed, you know, if you want to... If, sometimes you have to travel, like, really far distances. And this slider is great for that. You can really speed it up. And uh, let me just show you. So this ring around your ship, this is your visibility range. 
So as you can see, my ship's it's pretty dinky right here. And what happens is this is sort of like the overworld map, right? So when we when we run into a ship here, you can see now we're we're preparing for battle. So here we've got my destroyer. Excuse me. And here we've got the enemy. Sometimes you don't get to see the enemy makeup. It's very interesting. And we're just going to go straight into attack. All right, here we go. The USS Capitan Fletcher class destroyer. So here's what we have down here. Let me pause real quick. So first and foremost, here is the ship. When you have a, a ship selected, you have uh, a marker down here that represents your ship with all your ornaments. So I can, for instance, press 1, which will activate depth charges. And here's the radius for where I can shoot depth charges. 2 will be my uh, port and starboard torpedoes, as you can see here. And 3 will fire my turrets. So you can see, these are, this is essentially the main battery, the main turrets on the ship. And pretty big radius. So we do have a few views. I can hit T here for tactical view, which is very nice. But once you get a lot of ships. And it's it's a cool way to uh, navigate around. So we can see the Asagiri here. It's a Fubuki class destroyer. I'm, I'm about to Fubuku up this guy. Is that a word? Fubuku. His mama. <laughs> okay. Anyways. We got a little airplane flying around here. So he has launched a uh, swath of torpedoes at me. I've got him in range. So there's a, there's a myriad of ways you can decide to attack. So one, you can pause. And we can see he's within my radius. So I could scroll over here. And so you have to imagine, like, when I shoot this turret, I'm near the max range. He's going to be moving a direction. So you want to pick that intercept point. So, like, right here. So we'll unpause it. And here comes the bullet. Boom! We nailed him! All right. So let's check our radius here. Uh, torpedoes are just outside of his range. But we are in range of the main cannon, so I'm going to shoot again. Oh, I'm probably going to miss him on this one. Oh. Ooh, crippled. So, the, so he's dealing with uh, the other ship here. The USS Iowa is sending airplanes... All right, here we go. Another volley from the main turret. Let's get in close. Let's see if we can hit him with some torpedoes. I may have shot those a little bit far out. So torpedoes are a little bit of a tough deal to uh, fire from a long range because they have a spread. And you can see the way... Oh, ooh, he almost got me there. Boom, and there it is. Before the torpedoes even had a chance to get there... We took out that Fubuki class destroyer. Look at a split, baby. And yeah, this is the cool part. So you get XP, right? You level your captain. Uh, you have rank, and as you rank up, you unlock new ships that you can purchase at uh, different headquarters and harbors. So after every battle, you earn war bonds. 675,000 war bonds. That's our. That's the total of our uh, war bond armory, I guess. Our, our holdings. So let's continue. So... Enemy operative recovered from the enemy wreck. Return to HQ for your reward. And this is like some random events that can happen. Um, after you beat ships, sometimes you can uh, find different things like gold or, you know, different items you can use. Captain John L. McRae. Good work, Captain. Now let's mop up the others. Yes, sir. Where are they, sir? Here they are. So here we have a, what is this? A Yukikaze destroyer. So let's get on down there. So here you can see if we speed up the time a little bit. It goes a little bit faster. Oh, and let me show you as well. If we click on the map, you can see... So here's this campaign that we're doing. This is the map. Here we are, represented here by this ship. And here are our currently owned territories. Uh, Midway, Pearl Harbor, and Hawaii. And you can see the ship strengths. They're pretty strong. 16, 17, 17. And here's what we're dealing with. Uh, we've got the Japanese and... Uh, Looks like we've got the, the British, I think. Just all over here. Scattered all about. So, uh, the tutorial ends, you know, it it made... I think it's like two or three battles, and then the tutorial's over. So let's get right up next to this guy and get this battle going. And so here, yeah, fleet composition unknown. We don't know who we're fighting here, we just know there's a ship. There could be more than one ship. And we've only got our one that we can go in with. All right, the USS Capperton strikes again. 
see what we're dealing with here. Oh, he's already he's already shooting at me. Snap. Let's get a really good shot on this guy. There it goes, shot fired. And a hit. Beautiful hit. Look at look at his sorry little torpedo shot there. Bro, do you even know how to torpedo? Let me show you how to torpedo. Ooh, ooh, he almost hit me there. How are my torpedoes doing? Oh, he 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 may get past him. Well, I don't know. Oh, it would be so great if I hit him with a torpedo right now. We're landing hits. He's got a lot of armor, though. A lot of HP. Alright, we're coming in. So, totally missed him with those torpedoes. Like a chump. So now, if you're in tactical view, for instance, there's a lot of things you can do. Like, as you see, I'm doing most things manually, but, for instance, I could say... I could direct a ship, uh... Pretty sure I can hold down, like... I thought it was shift. There we go. Yeah, yeah. You can hold down shift to, like, draw waypoints. Or you can even have the AI um, take control of your ship and engage. And it'll do, like, its own thing. But I don't want that. Just showing you what there are, like, option-wise. It's pretty good, especially when you get big fleets, you know? Alright, so we're missing this guy. Our only other weapon we have is depth charges. Which is no good. No good. We don't want to use depth charges right now. Come on, baby. I need to fix the sounds. Normally you can hear the cannons and stuff, and I want to hear the cannons shooting. It's like all part of the fun. So yeah, he's... This guy's really damaged. And here we go. Let's see where, if we can just place this shot right up. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, down here at the very bottom middle of the screen, you can see these are all of our subsystems on the ship. So we've got turbines, props, fuel systems, engine, magazines, bridge, rudders, engineering, fire control, and the radar. And based on different areas of the ship that you hit, you know, you can take out different subsystems. It's very cool. Look, look at it. We're getting, like, right up in there. <laughs> this poor guy. I'm so sorry, my friend. Oh, 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 no. Oh, shitballs. You know, just get right in between them. Woo, baby. Holy smokes. You asshole. Are you serious? F you. <laughs> okay, victory. Lovely victory. So what did we get for that one? Uh, 810,000 war bonds. We're sitting pretty at 1.4 million. Now, you may think that's a lot, but, like, some of the cheapest ships are, you know, 5 million. All right, so sink the three enemy fleets off the Hawaiian Islands. So we've already done the uh, Yakakuzi and the Yanagi. I think. Let's speed her up and get down here. Here it is, the Yanagi. Ooh, this looks interesting. What is this? It's a question mark, so we don't know. Ramming speed. Total mystery. All right, ship spotted. See what we're dealing with, eh? Definitely a destroyer. Yeah, Matsu class destroyer escort. Oh, a destroyer. Oh, oh shit! They have an oil tanker too. All right, so he has already started shooting. Damn, and I meant to. Uh, I meant to change some of the sound settings. I don't know if I can do that from here. Oh, you can make smoke screens as well, which is pretty cool. Smoke screen it up. Makes makes you harder to hit uh, for something. I should probably look that up. I They tell you in the tutorial, but uh, I kind of forgot just a little bit. So let's go in here for a precision shot if we can. Looks like he's smoke screening as well. We're going to get the enemy view. Here comes the shot. Oh, weapons damaged, weapons destroyed. We utterly wrecked this guy on that shot. Wow. So, I mean, he may be out of commission from that shot. Here comes the here comes the shot. All right, he's almost dead. He's taking pot shots at us still. So he's still got like his main turret. 
that has not been affected. I'm not even bothering with torpedoes on this guy. Oh, no. I want to save the torpedoes for this guy. Look at this oil tanker. My God. Right in the middle. Come on. Boom. There it is. See a chump sore. All right. Let's change up the angle of attack here. Let's get these uh, torpedoes within range. I'm going to go dead on because he's he's coming right at us. He's coming right for us. Mm, they're coming right for us. Okay. I'm Ned from South Park. Let's show this guy what we're made of. Do we have it? Oh, torpedoes. Torpedoes utterly wrecked him. That was it. <laughs> F yes. Thank you, torpedoes. Sir, I have a message from the Admiralty. On behalf of the United States Navy, Captain, I am honored to award you the Navy Expeditionary Medal. Your actions have been excep exceptional as of late, Scrotilius. Oh, thanks, dude. With, wow, sidebirds way bigger than mine. So we landed a cool 877,000 war bonds on that one, putting us up to 2.3 million. All right, so we've got one more tutorial ship to go. He's over here. We need to sink the, like, the LI-180 or something? I don't know what the hell this is. The something-something. The L-180. L-180, it's a submarine, so this will be interesting. You'll get to see me maybe use some depth charges. Oh, oh, hang on. Before I forget. I think it's the sound effects. Maybe I want a little bit higher. I don't know. I'll try I'll try to figure this out. Uh after afterwards when I'm working on audio. All right, let's get into this battle. So, it's interesting in the uh here in the tutorial all the all the ships have had 51 health, 51% health. They kind of keep it a little basic to start. But pretty soon, I mean, you have to imagine when you start getting these really big ships, you may have like seven or eight different weapon systems you can work. It becomes really interesting, really strategic. So, for instance, like this guy's coming right at us, right? Let's try to throw him off guard a little bit. He's coming this way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and launch the submarines. <laughs> I mean, the uh, torpedoes. Launch all the submarines, Captain. Also, question, why do we have submarines on our destroyer? You can't hit them with your main cannons. Yeah, so you can't hit him. Let's see what he's going to do about these torpedoes. This one's looking like it may be good. All right, he's launching some uh, torpedoes as well, so I'm going to immediately change up course. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Get there, get there. All right, psych. He's too low for the torpedoes to hit. You son of a bitch. So the submarines, I think they can like change their depth. Sometimes he'll be a little bit higher. I thought torpedoes for sure would have hit this guy. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get up to uh, depth charge distance, and we're going to we're going to give this guy a really bad day. Now the problem is I'm getting really close, and he's got torpedoes that reload fairly fast. So like the moment he does that, it's it's a terrible situation. Depth charges away. Boom, we did it. That was that was a wow, that was a beautiful launch. We landed those depth charges right on that guy. All right, war bonds earned 675,000, total war bonds 3 million. Great. All right, so now we're starting to get into the meat of the game. The tutorial is just about over. We just unlocked some ships. We got the JKNN class destroyers and the Fletcher class destroyers. Mission complete. We got a bonus of 5 million war bonds. I'm having a hard time reading that. You're on your own now, Captain. Good luck. Return to the nearest friendly port and visit HQ. They'll also get all necessary repair done. And get a new ship for your fleet. You'll need it. Okay, so let's do that. So all of these places that you own on the map, um, they have, I guess, headquarters or docks that you can uh, go to. Let me slow this down. It's making it really hard to control. So here we go. Uh, ports. That's what I'm looking for, the word port. So here we are. We're, we're coming into port here. So let's visit the HQ first. Let's see what we have to do. 
Captain, great job on capturing that enemy operative. We're not sure of exactly how much damage they could have caused or our caused our war effort in this region. Received one million war bonds. I feel like I'm getting a lot of war bonds here. So now we can check out the shipyard. We're sitting pretty on nine million war bonds. And we can see all the ships we've unlocked. So I actually may... There's a whole bunch. Um, we're not quite at the next level. But I'm thinking I may grab one. I may actually pick up one of these JK and N class destroyers. They're all kind of similar with um, with our initial price point that we can purchase, I'll say. So let's leave port and uh, we'll try to do another battle here with these guys. See what our, our first real mission is. Alright, so here we go. Coming in from Captain John L. McRae. Captain, I suggest you head down to the Wajd, Kwajalein, Mili, and Jalut Atolls. We need to take out the Japanese supply convoys and capture the islands in order to begin our push west. Okay, so so here's the order coming from this guy. This is our, our captain. Now let's take a look at what we need to do. So we need to go down here. Here's the Wajj... I don't... Wajj Atoll? Kwajalein Atoll? I don't even know how to pronounce these. The Jalut Atoll and the Mili Atoll. So that's where we're heading. Let's get on down there, baby. And you can see on the mini-map, we're essentially heading... Oh. oh. December 7th, 1941. A state which will live in infamy. United States of America... Got this guy. ...was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. Okay. Oh, I guess that's all he was saying. I wasn't sure how much talking that guy was going to do. So let's head down to this uh, atoll here. Atoll. I don't know how you want to say that. So we have a, a level 2 patrol coming at us. We're level 2 as well. Or two ships, I guess. Two destroyers. Let's do it. We're going in. We're going in, baby. Can I do a save game? Do you wish to save? Yes. All right. Wow. So our battle radius was very big here. So here's what we're going against, the Hajikaze Destroyer and the Michishio Destroyer versus the Caperton and the Kelly. Alright. So, now that we're out of the tutorial, when you start a battle, you start in tactical mode. And you can you can decide like where you want to start your ships, which is really cool. So there's the enemy, so I'm going to start these guys coming in from the left and the right here. Alright, yeah, no, this looks good. And here we go. I don't want to fleet these guys up or anything. There's no real point. So, I'm going to take control of the K-Class Destroyer, our new one. And for the the AI, I'm going to let him... What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to send him off. He's going to do like this. And then he's going to come back in. Okay. Good. And I'm going to control this guy. So there he is. He's doing his thing. I'm doing my thing. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Look at this. Pretty sweet looking. Let's take a look at our weapon ranges while we're sitting pretty with a little bit of time. Pretty much the same as our other destroyer here, the Fletcher class. So he's banking outwards. I'm going to bank inwards. And we're just going to come right at these guys. Oops. We're going to speed it up just a little bit. You know, just to get ships in range. All right, here we go. First off, I'm going to pause. Go to tactical. So these guys are getting close. I'm going to immediately set him to engage mode. Yeah, engage that guy. All right, so he shot some torpedoes. My worry is the uh, the AI is sometimes not so hot at, like, dodging torpedoes and stuff. Ah, uh, so they're shooting at each other. You can see his shot just flying right there. So here we go. We can take our first shot. I want to hit right up in the front of this guy. Um, did he hit me? No. I'm gonna bring it in. I want to. I'm gonna make this guy 
sweat a little bit by shooting some torpedoes. Get the main turrets firing here. Boom. All right, a hit. Oh, I'm coming right in between these guys. This, this could be bad. Oh, we've got a good spread. Here we go. This torpedo right here might hit. Oh, no. We're just going to miss. No. Balls. Straight balls. All right. This is dangerous where I am right now. Oh, this is so dangerous. And we're just missing. Okay. Oh, it's just like a bunch of ships all loving each other. Yo, man, why you gotta be going after me? Can I hit him with depth charges? Let's see. Nope. Alright, that was that would have been too great. Boom. Boom, suck it. You Kagero class destroyer. I'm trying to keep my movements um different, you know? Alright, hang on. Is this guy? Okay, no, he's still shooting. Alright. I'm paused right now, so let's get another shot off on this guy. Unpause it. Oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh! I was point blank, man. Depth charges! Eat them! I'm hoping, like, maybe some will land on the deck and the sailors might catch them. So we're still untouched. The only one who's really been hit is this guy. Ooh, ooh, he got me on that one. Oh, 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 oh. Slow the engines down, slow them down. And speed them back up. There, look at that. Tell me that wasn't beautiful. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the broadside of this guy just for a moment here. I'm gonna try to sneak around him. Ooh, this guy's tough. Ooh. I'm, I've taken some, some hits, but so far none of the subsystems are hurt. So far we're good. We're good in the hood, y'all. Do it. There it is. Wow. What a good hit. We literally just completely took that guy out of commission. Alright, so I've got, I, I'm reducing the engine power to get a tighter turn. Crank the power back up. Let loose a shot. Nailed him. No damage, though. No damage. All right, so now my tactic. I think what I'm going to do, I want to get in close. I want to try to get my torpedoes within range of this guy. Main cannon fire. Boosh. Okay. So here's the problem, though. I, I need to be able to shoot my torpedoes such that I do not hit my own ship. Yes, that is possible, and it is scary. I've done it before. All right, here we go. Check this out. Right there. Oh, look at that spread. Oh, yes! Oh, not as much damage as I was hoping. Oh, no! Hang on, I've taken control of both ships on accident. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Just had to, had to rectify the situation there. Ooh, look. Look how slow he's going now. Oh, we're like, we're point blank. This is, this is, oh, no, 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 no! Oh, wow. I don't know if you just saw that. Did you see all those duds? Maybe because we were so close. Maybe the warheads didn't have a time, time to arm or something. We literally just lucked out. This guy should be dead. In fact, Jesus Christ, you. Take that off. You get out of there, friend. Yeah. So you can do something interesting as well, like when your systems are going, you can uh this guy's having some problems. Hang on. Yeah, you can order all your ships to fire at the same time, which is very interesting. You hold alt and just like right click. Oh, we took his anti-air out. No use for that anyways. And yeah, all your ships will fire all available weapons that have an arc that can hit that area. We're just we're being like two evil pigeons right now. We're just jacking up this other bird. The Asashio class destroyer. 
This is a really close range battle. I don't, I, I don't normally recommend being this close, but... Damn. We can't seem to penetrate that last bit of this guy's armor. And he, he has just about fully stopped. Engines no longer working, Captain. Oh my gosh. Depth charges. I just like shooting those. There it goes. There it goes. The AI took him out. Yes, victory. Victory at sea. Oh, now the title's making sense. All right, war bonds, 1.4 million. Total war bonds, 5.5. We are making good progress here. So here's me, Captain Scrotilius. We have a new captain, Captain Rumsfeld. He's the captain of the uh, the new destroyer we bought. Oh, damn it, I didn't... Well, we unlocked two new ships. So, hey, guys, I think this is where we're going to stop this episode. Let me do a save real quick. Uh, I will definitely probably take a look at this series uh, for at least another episode or two. You know, just so we can see how things pan out, get some more powerful ships, see what we think about it. But, you know, if everybody likes it, enjoys it, we could always spin something off. I don't know, but but for now, hey, we'll just keep it simple, keep it easy with this uh, Let's Look series. So, thank you so much for stopping by, you guys. Thank you for hanging out. It's been totally awesome having you here. And, uh, hey, until next time, you guys take it easy and stay classy. <laughs>